Morbidly Wholesome Facts, Part 55. The dog on the left is an award-winning French bulldog named Arnie. The dog on the right is also a French bulldog, but he was bred in the Netherlands by Hawbuck's Kennel. They're a breeder trying to establish a new healthier template for French bulldogs, which are typically prone to overheating and breathing problems directly related to their flat facial structure. Here's an 1889 photo of a blind Muslim man named Muhammad carrying his best friend, a paralyzed Christian man with dwarfism named Samir. Despite their opposing religious views, each man depended on the other to survive. In 2017, a family swimming at Panama City Beach in Florida was suddenly swept out to sea by a strong rip current. Since there was no lifeguard on duty, over 100 beachgoers formed a human chain to pull the drowning family to safety. Morbidly Wholesome Facts, Part 54 In 1967, line worker Randall Champion accidentally grabbed a high-voltage line, instantly electrocuting himself and stopping his heart. That's when fellow lineman J.D. Thompson immediately rushed over and performed CPR until paramedics arrived. Champion ended up surviving and this famous photo became known as the Kiss of Life. This beach in Turkey is one of the only beaches in the world that's accessible to handicapped people. When she was 7 years old, Christina Santos was diagnosed with a life-threatening condition that forced doctors to remove half of her brain. But she miraculously grew up to earn a master's degree and now works as a professional speech pathologist. Here are some morbidly wholesome facts about Mr. Rogers. In 1969, when African American citizens were forbidden from swimming in pools with white people, Mr. Rogers invited a black police officer to come dip his feet in a pool with him, breaking a well-known color barrier. Mr. Rogers personally responded to every fan letter he ever received. A five-year-old blind girl once asked if he could say when he's feeding the fish because she was worried about them starving. From that point on, every time he fed the fish, he said it out loud. In the 1980s, a little girl named Beth was suffering from over a hundred seizures per day and was about to have half her brain removed in a major surgery. So her mother requested a note from Mr. Rogers just to assure the little girl that she'd be okay. When Mr. Rogers heard about this, he flew to visit her in the hospital and even brought his puppets to cheer her up. Beth survived the surgery and stayed close with Mr. Rogers until his death. Morbidly Wholesome Facts, Part 52 Peo the French Stallion is a 16-year-old therapy horse that provides comfort to patients suffering from terminal cancer. Each day, he chooses which patients he wants to visit by kicking his hoofs outside their doors. This blind pregnant woman got her ultrasound 3D printed and was overcome with joy. In 2005, a bald eagle was shot in the face by a poacher, causing her to lose her beak. She struggled to eat anything and was on the verge of starving until a nonprofit organization gave her a 3D printed prosthetic beak, making her even more badass than ever before. In 2020, a woman from Vancouver had a teddy bear stolen from her, which had a voice recording of her deceased mother who passed away from cancer. But after celebrities like Ryan Reynolds offered a cash reward and helped make the story go viral, the teddy bear was soon found and returned. In honor of Father's Day, here are some morbidly wholesome facts about dads. In 2015, a Texas father saved his son's life when doctors wrongly declared him brain dead and wanted to take him off life support. He barricaded the hospital with a gun and had a three-hour standoff with a SWAT team until his son squeezed his hand. His son went on to make a full recovery. This awesome dad got a tattoo of his son's cancer surgery scar to show him that there's nothing to be ashamed of. In 2012, a Texas father beat his five-year-old daughter's molester to death. But a grand jury declined to indict the man because they decided that he was justified in using deadly force to protect his daughter. This amazing father designed some shoes to give his paralyzed daughter the sensation of walking for the first time. A gay man from Italy named Luca Trapanese adopted a baby girl with Down syndrome after more than 20 families rejected her. Being a single gay man, he was told by social services that he would only be given a child with an illness or disability. He was later quoted saying, When I first held her in my arms, I was overcome with joy and felt that she was my daughter right away.